Hi, my name is Robin Newman and I am the author of No Peacocks. This book was inspired by three real life peacocks. Their names are Phil, Jim, and Harry. And when my son attended the cathedral school, one teacher announced one day, did anyone leave a stroller on the porch with a sandwich? Because one of the peacocks just ate it. And as soon as I heard that, I knew I had my story. So I hope you will enjoy No Peacocks. In the heart of New York City, on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, is the Cathedral Church of St. John the Divine. And on the cathedral's grounds, there is a school and three unusual feathered residents, Phil, Jim, and Harry, peacocks. Every day, the peacock's caretaker feeds them sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds for breakfast, sunflower seeds for lunch, more for dinner. One day, enough was enough. No squawk, Phil. More honk, Jim. Sunflower seeds, screeched Harry. They decided to check out the restaurants across the street. No peacocks, cried the server at the pizzeria. No peacocks, shouted the chef at the Chinese restaurant. No peacocks, hollered the baker at the pastry shop. Everywhere they went, it was the same story. Each and every time, they were escorted back home. How, squawk Phil, incredibly honked Jim. Rude, screeched Terry. But then, they got a whiff of something yummy. They followed that smell across the schoolyard, through the field, and past the garden. It was coming from the school's dining hall. The students were eating ooey gooey, creamy, and delicious mac and cheese. They had to try some. Now, peacocks are not allowed in the school, but this minor inconvenience wasn't going to stop Phil, Jim, and Harry. Every day, they lined up with the students. Again and again, they were told no peacocks. They needed a plan. They studied maps, measured distances, and calculated flight trajectories. Not always successfully. After much trial and error, Mission Mac and Cheese was a go. First, Phil distracted everyone with his fan feathers. Next, Jim grabbed glasses and hats from the schoolyard. Then, Harry borrowed school uniforms from the lost and found. When nobody was looking, they lined up and they were in. But not where they wanted to be. Class, please take out your readers, a teacher announced. Here, said a student, passing the birds a book. They didn't know what to do. Like this, said a student. Watch me. The birds tried their best to blend in, but not always successfully. The bell rang in the nick of time. They rushed out of the classroom and made their way to the dining hall. Each of you take a tray, said a student. Shh, be quiet. But Phil squawked with excitement. Jim honked with joy. Harry screeched with anticipation. And Chef yelled, peacocks! They knew their goose was cooked. They were escorted back to their coop without even a taste. After school, they spotted a student in the schoolyard. Phil waved her over. Jim checked to make sure the coast was clear. Harry handed her a picture of the mac and cheese. The student looked around and nodded. I got a connection. I can take care of it, but it'll cost you three feathers. Meet me here when the bells ring. Make sure you're not followed. The meeting went as planned. The exchange was made. And guess what? Mac and cheese was for the birds, but not these birds. This squawk filled. Taste honk, Jim. Horrible, screeched Harry. Turns out sunflower seeds weren't so bad after all. But from time to time, the peacocks still like trying something new. The end. <laughs>